There is a special research vessel out this morning in the Gulf of St. Lawrence that's trying to learn more about North Atlantic right whales. Eight of them have died in Canadian waters this year, and scientists are helping to prevent more deaths by performing some high-tech medical checkups. Gabrielle Fami explains. <laughs> This drone goes where no scientist can, hovering over a surfacing right whale's blowhole, capturing samples of wet breath, and yes, whale snot. It's a fun little system and it's really quick and uh, we were glad we had a, a drone racing pilot to, to, to pilot that one for us. It's, a, it's a, quite a task getting that over the whale. The drone returns with its precious cargo, where eager scientists will pour over its contents for clues about the whale's health. And we're hopefully looking at uh, cortisol, um, testosterone, progesterone. Anything that will help researchers understand what's happening to these endangered animals. Eight right whales have been found dead this season, floating in the Gulf of St. Lawrence, where they've been chasing their main food source on the move north in pursuit of colder waters and more bountiful prey. Finding a meal is getting increasingly difficult. Stress in humans causes a lack of fertility. It's likely to be the same in the whales. So by exploring how stressed the whales are related to perhaps ship noise or reduced prey in the environment, we can assess their um, potential for uh, recovering. Scientists spotted seven whale calves earlier this season. A good sign, but not enough to keep the species from extinction. Stress from human interference may be a key factor. When the world ground to a halt during the September 11th terror attacks, there were fewer ships moving about, and right whales appeared healthier. Ships create a lot of noise that sort of floods the Atlantic Basin, and when that went down, the stress levels in the whales also went down. That's the point of this mission, to assess the role human activity may be having on this dwindling population. All of that information, we can take that and give it to the people who have to make decisions and develop the policies for protecting the whales. The drone here um, has two flight batteries. There are right reasons here, to hope. In one around, remarkable aerial snap during the trip, 10 North Atlantic right whales swimming next to each other. An incredible sight, but a worrying one too, as slow swimmers that stay close to the surface these whales are particularly vulnerable newcomers to the busy waters of the Gulf. Gabrielle Fami, CBC News, Dalhousie.